on 430. Welcome back to 11 Alive News. I'm Jonathan Martin. And I'm Jennifer Bellamy. Right now, let's get you caught up on the very latest on the chemical fire at the BioLab facility in Rockdale County. We just got an update about 30 minutes ago from the fire chief who says it took three to four hours to get the initial fire under control on Sunday, but then the roof collapsed. There's been no active fire, they say, since yesterday afternoon, but the shelter in place and evacuation orders do remain in place right now for Rockdale County. The EPA is doing air monitoring and expects to have a report about a day later, uh, about that day later today. They also dispelled any talk online saying that firefighters were hospitalized as a result of fighting the fire. It's white smoke, yeah. so that smoke is a product of the water and the water reactive chemical. Uh, once we can get that stored uh, securely, that's going to go away. As far as a specific timeline, then no, it's just going to be time. But we are working through it. Once we can get it secure, things will start to look better for us. Well, people across Metro Atlanta have expressed concerns about what is in the air and the long-term impacts for your health from the BioLab fire. 11 Alive's investigator Rebecca Lindstrom has been asking those tough questions today and joins us live with what she's learned. Rebecca. We know the EPA has detected chlorine in the air around BioLab, but we don't know the concentration or if any other chemicals were released. The company is required to submit a safety data sheet so regulators have a better understanding of the potential impacts. We haven't seen that yet. So it is not known if the chemicals that were dispersed, what were their quantity? What was the form? After it was hit with water, are we tracking a powder, a liquid, or a gas? In the meantime, though, if you smell something or you see unusual dust or debris in your yard, don't touch it, report it. What I tell people to do after a chemical disaster is you call it in. You let somebody in an official capacity know, the county, and you call them and tell them, I found these chemicals or materials that are in my yard. I think they fell from the sky, or I, I have video that shows they fell from the sky in that you don't touch them. You get officials to investigate. And if no one comes? You call again, and you call again. Today, I sat down to talk with Purdue professor Andrew Welton. He is an expert on environmental chemistry and disasters. He spent months assessing the damage after the train derailment that made national news in East Palestine. Well, these are very different situations. He says it is important we demand answers specific answers. The air quality might be fine, but they should also be able to tell us how they got to that conclusion. When it is clear to return home, if you have concerns, he suggests calling your home insurance company to see if they will pay for in-home testing of your carpet, walls, and soil. Finally, he says, don't write off your experience. If you are feeling unwell, report it. All important reminders. Rebecca Lindstrom, live for us in the newsroom. Thank you.